Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today we are covering how to integrate data quality test in Airflow. We have covered great expectations and how to create great expectation suite in the previous two sessions. We will build on it and implement the great expectation suite in our data pipeline orchestrator Airflow. Link to the previous sessions as well as the Airflow videos is in the description below. Previously, we have developed the following pipeline that denormalizes the various product tables into a product dimension. We extract and load this data using Airbyte from SQL Server to Postgres. Now that we have a product dimension, we will integrate the data quality test into this pipeline. I will grab the test cases we have defined in the following notebook using great expectations. This is from one of the earlier sessions. In order to integrate great expectations, we need the great expectations provider installed. So we'll add this provider to our custom Airflow image. Make sure to build and run the image. Instructions on building and running the custom image was covered in the previous Airflow session. From the Airflow's project directory, let's launch the command prompt. We'll issue the great expectation init command. This will initialize a new project. We'll see a new folder called Great Expectation in our projects directory. Our Great Expectation suite will go under the Expectations folder. So let's import the Expectation suite. It'll be a JSON file from the previous session, and we paste it into this folder here. All the test cases defined in this JSON file, they are applicable to this table. So let's quickly review the test cases. We are testing the product key column that it should exist and it cannot be null. Also, this should contain unique values. The product line values should only contain values in the provided set. The safety stock level, days to manufacture, and standard costs should be in the provided range. In addition, we specify that the product name cannot contain nulls. You can adjust the suite name and the test cases based on your need. Let's go ahead and save this file. Now we'll open up our DAG file. We have the following DAG. This DAG runs a SQL file that denormalizes the product tables into a dim product dimension. So let's go ahead and run our great expectation suite against this table. We import the great expectation provider in this DAG. I'll add another function that will invoke the suite. So in this function, we provide a task ID Make sure to give it an appropriate name. Following this, we have the Postgres connection. This is defined in the Airflow, and based on the connection ID, we can get a hold of the connection. We provide the directory where our suite is located. Following this, we provide the table name that we want to run the test against, and finally, the suite name. The results of the suite will be in a JSON format. So this is how we invoke the Great Expectation Suite in Airflow. Let's go ahead and save the DAG file and we will preview it in the Airflow's UI. You can launch the Airflow UI, log into your instance. We can click on the DAG and here we can inspect the code. We want to make sure our recent changes are present in the DAG. Let's go ahead and trigger the DAG to test the Great Expectation Suite's integration. Our DAG ran successfully. We can view the log to see the execution of the data quality test. We can see that the following expectations ran against our target table. And if there were any failures, the DAG status will reflect it. So this is how we can integrate create expectations in Airflow. This ensures that our data meets the data quality standards we put in place. This is all for now. I hope you enjoyed the session. Like, share and subscribe. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.